Racist comments on Facebook revealed, prompting the resignation of a woman who was working for the Republican Party in Beaver County, Pennsylvania. Now, according to the Beaver County Times, Carla Maloney called NFL players who kneeled during the anthem baboons and ignorant blacks in posts on her private Facebook page, posts that have since been removed. And here's one of those posts. Steelers are now just as mad as the rest of the overpaid baboons. You respect your flag country and our national anthem. How many men and women have lost limbs or died to protect this country and you baboons want respect? If you want respect, you need to earn it and so far you haven't. Stop watching or going to a game and paying for overpriced food, water and tickets. Let's see how the baboons get paid when white people stop paying their salaries. Joining us now, CNN political commentator and Temple University professor Mark Lamont Hill. And also joining us by phone, former NFL player Walter Dunson. Walter, let me start with you. It's difficult for me to read that. I'm so offended personally at this point. Does any of this surprise you, and what is your reaction? Well, you know, none of it surprises me at all. We had this conversation almost a year ago as it pertains to the president. Uh, the president has made, you know, people feel like it's okay to 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 not only voice their opinion about this, but also, as we see now, to write their opinion, even in the public in the public area. And we're talking about public officials at that. You know, as players, who are, we're, we're, we're just taken aback about all of this. You know, our goal isn't to, you know, to be disruptive by, in, in, by any means or, or anything like that. We just want to, we just stand with Kaepernick and make him, trying to make sure that everybody understands that we are standing against police uh, brutality. And that's what it's all about for the NFL players. Mark, Carla Maloney was not only a GOP official, she also came on CNN identifying herself as a Trump supporter. And I just, I wonder, I mean, she, she is this what you were worried about? I mean, is this what you have been speaking about in terms of the Trump administration? Uh, inciting racial division absolutely it's two things on the one hand it is uh as a matter of fact uh what the trump administration has helped produce they have normalized a culture where you can call nfl players baboons where you can question their patriotism where you can question their humanity and where you can make uh, nfl owners seem like they don't own teams but that they own people and the second part of it though is that for many people uh this feels like the ex explicit articulation of what Trump subtly says in his tweets, what he subtly says in his remarks, when he calls them SOBs, when he talks about how lucky they are to be in the NFL, when he talks about getting rid of them. All of these sort of things feel like almost like, she feels like Trump unplugged, like what what what, what the inner workings of Trump my, Trump's mind are. Now again, that's my speculation, but it's but it, but his the subtext of what he says and the context of what he says resonates very strongly with what this woman said uh, very clearly, and that's why many of us have anxiety with what the Trump moment and the Trump administration has produced. Let me read you another one of her posts. She says, tired of these overpaid ignorant blacks telling me what I should believe in. I will tell you what I believe in, and that is our flag and national anthem and America, period, end of story. You don't like it? Here, here go to Africa. See how you like it there. We are all Americans, not African American, not Hispanic American. We are all American. Walter, she only resigned after these posts went public. I mean, that's what I understand. I, and I, you know, again, I mean, these words are just extremely, extremely disrespectful, um, disrespectful to her office, you know, as she walked into, into the office. It's also disrespectful to us as African-Americans, just a disrespectful period. Uh, whether we're black, white or whatever, that isn't what we're here. That isn't what we're here to do. And that's not what we're about. Again, the protest, you know, for the, from the player standpoint, is only about police brutality. We're not interested in anything else other than that. We're trying to bring bring uh, the, you know, the light to that situation, trying to better that situation, not only locally, but also nationally as well. In her resignation letter, Mark, she writes, while it does not change the fact that the words were mine and mine alone, the fact that these posts were made public were the result of an ongoing family dispute. Does that give you any empathy for her? No, it's she got outed being racist by somebody who doesn't like her. Now, whether or not they have reason not to like her outside of these these posts, I don't know. That's their family business. But I have no empathy that a racist gets outed as as racist 
uh, because someone who did it might also be a jerk too. Uh, I'm more concerned with the fact that had a family member not outed this woman, we would have someone in public office who believes and feels these things, and also that there may be, in fact, there are numerous people, whether they're private citizens or public officials, who also carry these these beliefs, uh, who will never know about, but who, ha who have an influence in public policy, who have an influence in the public discourse, and who have shape and reflect thoughts, that go, political thoughts that go all the way up to the White House. That's what scares me, not that she got outed. Mark, the NFL season kicks off this Thursday where you are in Philadelphia. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you were there. What do you expect this season in terms of anthem protests, owner reaction, and of course, President Trump? Well, you, you, you should be surprised if I'm there. I'm, I'm boycotting the NFL this year as I boycotted last year. I didn't even watch the Super Bowl, although the Eagles did win the Super Bowl and the Cowboys did not. I want to make that very clear. But the <laughs> Eagles kind of got to run with Dallas. But, but no, the, I, I don't watch the NFL until Colin Kaepernick has a job, until uh, Reed has a job. I will not watch the NFL. But what I do expect, what I hope to read and, and watch on CNN, is that numerous NFL players uh, have protested. And if the NFL players have the political courage that I pray they have, all of them will, ha will, will be on one knee when, when, the, uh, when the season starts. Because until Kaepernick has a job and until racial justice has been properly addressed by the NFL, not fixed, but properly addressed, nobody should be standing up. Everybody's body should be at half mass. Mark Lamont Hill, Walter Dunson, thank you so much for joining us.